Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Pokemon 3D on your PC. For those of you who aren't too familiar with this, this is a Pokemon 3D remake of Gold and Silver. It's remade in a 3D environment so you can walk around, you can see everything. The battles are all in 3D. It's a really, really cool remake of the original Gold and Silver games and it's really cool to see. I'm going to be showing you step by step in today's video how to set up everything and get playing. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is come to this link. Links is always are in the description down below. And this is going to be for the Pokemon 3D website. On the home screen right here, we should see this download game button. What we're going to be doing is clicking this and then it's going to be bringing us to the GitHub page where we should see all the latest releases of the game. In this case, what we're going to be doing is clicking on the latest release. In this case, I'd recommend just taking whatever the latest release is for you. In this case, for me, it's 0.55.2. What we're going to be doing is clicking this open. Now we're going to be looking for the assets file. In particular, we're going to be looking for the release.zip. All we need to do is click this release.zip and then your game should start to download. This may take a little bit of time for me. It was close to 200 megabytes. So what you're going to do is have to let this download and then we can start extracting and playing this game. Once the game is downloaded, you want to move it to a location where you can find it easily. So currently I have mine on my desktop right here. And what we're going to be doing is extracting the game files out into its original folder. Since it's just in a .zip file, we won't need any external software. All you have to do is right click on the file, click extract here, and then just choose your destination where you want to extract the game. In this case, I already have the contents extracted. And if we double click to open this, we should get a folder with a release inside. And then we should get all the game assets and content inside this folder. What we're going to be looking for once this opens up is the Pokemon 3D application file. In this case, it's about 2,500 kilobytes. What we're going to be doing is locating to this file and then double click to start playing this file. Once this opens, your game should be just about ready to play. From this point, I already had a controller plugged in. It automatically picked it up and everything seemed to work. I didn't have to map any settings. I didn't have to do anything. Everything just worked out with a box for me. What you can do from this point is log in if you want to create a previous save that you had on a previous computer. Or in my case, what I'm going to be doing is just clicking new game and then the game should begin. From this point, you'll be met with this 3D version of Pokemon Gold and Silver. It's really, really cool to see, and it's a really, really nice addition to this game. I feel like it adds a lot of cool things, and just walking around the Pokemon Gold and Silver environment in a 3D scape is really, really interesting. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. Until next time, guys, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.